Satan's primary goal is to enslave man's mind and will through lies and deceptions. If a man gets convinced or intimidated through one of Satan's forms of attack, he will have a definite advantage. His attacks are more deceptive than they appear. Being manifested in our thoughts makes them very personal. We think that those are our thoughts and our will, and we are used to letting our thoughts lead us. As far as Satan is allowed to go deep into our entity, he relentlessly pursues his objectives. All demonic powers commence their vicious attacks against us on the spiritual battlefield. In every battle, the devil tries a different strategy and role. His main goal from every fight he wages is the spiritual control of our minds and bodies. St. Paul in his second epistle to the Corinthians says, For though we walk in the flesh, we don't walk according to the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not fleshly, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every soul to the obedience of Christ. And this is what we call spiritual warfare. The devil also uses other methods to achieve his purpose. He ruins many people's lives by being enslaved to liquor, smoking, drugs, sexual immoralities, and other addictions. He puts strongholds in their lives that arise from evil and misguided thoughts. He also induces many problems and obstacles that discourage them, letting them abandon their efforts to be united with the Lord in the Holy Spirit. But St. Peter in his first epistle, chapter 5, is advising us to be aware that the devil is our enemy and to be sober and alert, to hold fast and abide in Christ, to conquer him and be saved from his evil plans toward us. Let us read it together. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walks about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. May we always be sober and alert to the devil's schemes and have the strength and power to reject him in the Holy Spirit. Amen.